Hello Pisces, welcome to your weekly reading covering August 4th, 2019 to August 11th, 2019. Keep in mind that there's no such thing as time. There's only energy, attention, and priorities. So this reading can resonate with you at any point. Whenever you feel guided to view this reading is when you are meant to hear these messages. This is for Pisces Ascendants, Suns, and Moons. The resonance will take place in different areas in different ways based on that information. Um, there's something else I'm forgetting to tell you, Pisces. Hold on. There's something else that I'm supposed to tell you. Okay, we're going to jump right into it, though, because this is the 10-minute freebie for the weekly reading, and then there's going to be an additional 20 minutes of reading after this to complete the whole the whole enchilada. So if this is really resonating with you, oh, that's what it is. And when I say resonate, I mean that I'm channeling your energy back to you. So it should be very clear, you know, shaky intuition or strong intuition, whether this is resonating for you. So if it is, feel free to check out the extended, and if not, feel free to stay for the Scooby Snacks, the entertainment of what's going on in someone else's life, and to support them, okay? Okay, so what's the Pisces got going on this week? Too many cards. There's an upset person, though. There's someone that's crying. I just felt it. Someone's crying this week. Someone's crying. Someone's watching, too. What they see is making them cry. What they spy on. Not spy. It's or someone spying on Pisces. Queen of Cups could be mom. Crying about mom. Someone's crying about mom. Oh, helicopter mom is what I just got for some of you, Pisces. You either are a helicopter mom or you had a helicopter mom. Sorry, I'm just you know you guys know how I do it here. Okay. Um you had a helicopter mom or you have a helicopter mom and someone's like dealing with those feelings. It's someone's dealing with those issues of what that felt like to have a helicopter mom. I feel like I'm picking up on a male Pisces. Who's defensive? about their happiness. I'm picking up, it doesn't have to be male or, it could be male or female. I'm picking up on a Pisces that is trying, that needs to hold on to their boundaries with their mothers for their own like sanity, their own emotional, this is emotions, their own not mental, maybe mental too, but um, it's an emotional thing. This is, a, this is perfect human love, perfected human love. And this Pisces I'm connecting to this week, this week they have, they're going to have to hold on the, to the boundaries. They're going to have to, it could be, <gasps> you have your mother. I'm connecting to the Pisces that has their mother hovering and trying to get into things that they shouldn't be getting into. And this Pisces is, it's, it's like, number one, it's triggering. It's, I'm connecting with a Pisces who's being triggered by this. It could be that this was a long ago, like a very adult, maybe in their 40s, you know, just like a, a Pisces, a Pisces that's that's been away from mom for a while, at least physically. Maybe you visit twice a week or three times a week, but it's not like being under her thumb, like when you were growing up. And there's something going on in your life. And now she is like trying to, we're going to get more information. We're going to, trust me, we're going to get all up into this. Don't worry. Don't you worry. We're going to get to the bottom of it. Um, but this is definitely the Pisces. And I could be talking to the cross watcher as well. If you want to know what's going on with your Pisces, your Pisces, if they're acting out towards you, it's not anything to do with you. This is mom. This is so mom. It could be a wife. It could be a feminine, a, a sister, a daughter, whatever, but I feel like it's mom feel like it's a mom thing. I feel like it's a mom issue thing. 
Oh my God, yes. This is bad, you guys. This is childhood. Mm. The Six of Cups is the past. Past life connection. Early life. Childhood friend. Childhood love. This this Pisces was really shattered. This, this something happened in the childhood that was that really broke. It really broke them. And um, I mean, who? We're not getting into like what it. But just so you know, Pisces or the cross watcher who loves a Pisces, something did happen in the childhood that broke their heart. That broke their their valve is what I'm getting, like the inflow outflow and the, all of the systems, it feels like it's a system thing. I'm seeing like tubes and pathways and gateways and transmitters and like all kinds of stuff. This is something that was, um, that affected that the mom, the mom did it. Sorry. Sorry. It's all mom's fault. In this case, it is, though. Right under the Page of Swords, this is not the combination you want to see, you guys. The mom, the feminine, I'll say the feminine, but I feel like it's totally mom. But it's someone, a feminine from the past, mom-type figure. Mom, I'm wearing, like, my mom shorts. That's why I'm like, <laughs> God. Okay. Um, let's do right there. <laughs> Okay, um, this is not the mom that, no, she never gave you privacy. This is a mom that, like, would open the bathroom door. If, like, you just never had a moment to yourself. You, you're, she's always been like this. And she betrayed your boundaries. She betrayed your boundaries to spy on you. I hate to say it that way, but that's how, that's what it is. She actually broke your privacy. This is like she read your diary. This is like she goes through your, um, I'm getting a car um, glove box. Like she'll go through your glove box. She would go, this is not a modern, it could be a modern day situation for generations that have phones with internet on them but I'm getting this is like an older generation of other ways older ways of betraying your privacy like nowadays it could be going through your phone like they're gonna go through your phone but I feel like this was someone who because <sighs> that's why you have this bound that's why you're defensive right now that's why you have a boundaries because you're super defensive because Someone did not respect that boundary. Let's get it one card. We're probably gonna run out of time, but let's get something on the Queen of Cups. This this is a manipulative mother, emotionally insecure, trying to keep the son to her, trying to keep the boy to her, you know, keeping him close to keep him forever and ever and ever. Yeah, she's overwhelming the Pisces with communication, with messages and even telepathic communication. It's telepathic, emotional communication. She's trying to dig in her grooming. She groomed this young Pisces a certain way. That's also what this is. This is a negative grooming of control and manipulation so that even when she's not there, he or she, Pisces, has this inner script of things that they're going to tell themselves that she would say or that she would think or that she would want them to think or be thinking about and right now there's a situation developing this week that has to do with this whole thing and she's communicating with the Pisces I don't know if this is I don't know what this has to do with yet and the extended will go into what this has to actually no let's do it now since we're here we're right here at the aid of what is this what is the Queen of Cups having to communicate with the Pisces about. What? Ooh. Ooh. Two people, two strong energies, the Queen of Swords and the Page of Wands. There is, there's a lot of, there's a, a very harsh, critical, um, decisive, confident communication from 
the Queen of Cups from this mother figure. Now she's coming across very biting and very, with her words, it's extremely harsh. And I'm feeling like her words were harsh in the young environment. You only need one sword to kill a person. There's three in Pisces's heart. I'm sorry. Okay, so we're going to continue this in the extended. It's, pr it's a pretty dark reading this week, Pisces. You might just want to sit this one out if it's resonating. <laughs> I'm just um, but stay on for the preview. Um, otherwise, if you want to unpack this in a personal reading, let me know and we can schedule that out for you so that we can kind of heal this. I feel like it's coming up in order for the purpose to be healed. So either way, I give you my good photons and my good energy and maybe some of the energy work that we've done in the past 11 minutes has been enough of a little boost for you to, to take forward in the world. Okay, my dears, I will talk to you next time and have a great Sunday. Bye. She wants to lay down the law. She wants to be the one to lay down the law. She wants to be the one to, what is Pisces going to communicate? I'm sorry, what is Pisces' mother going to communicate? They're not stable, is what I just heard. They think that you, Pisces, you're, I'm sorry, Pisces, it's, it's okay. Let's pull more into, like you can't even defend your boundaries. All you can do is run away. The way you defend your boundaries is to be sneaky, is to be sort of evasive, because you know that this is not a person that you can directly debate with, because they're coming